Hi, this is Maths with Brashmai Kwan. In this video, we'll be learning about how to find units rate of product of exponents. So to find the units rate of product of exponents, we need to follow the following steps. So examine if the exponent can be arranged or consolidated into one single exponent, right? If you are able to do that, then we can just find the units digit using the cyclicity of the number. If you want to know about the cyclicity, just check out the videos provided in the description of this video, where I talk about the cyclicity of a lot of different numbers, ranging from two to nine. If the rearrangement is not possible, then we need to determine the units rate of each of those exponents using the cyclicity method. And then we need to multiply the units digit of those exponents to get the final units rate of the number. So let's take an example to understand how to solve this. Find the units rate of 4 raised to 23 multiplied by 3 raised to 46. Note that this power is 23 and this power is 46, which is 2 times 23. And we can write the first exponent as 2 raised to 2 whole raised to 23 multiplied by 3 raised to 46. So this becomes 2 raised to 2 multiplied by 23. So 2 raised to 46 multiplied by 3 raised to 46. Since the powers are same, so we can multiply the basis. So this will become 2 into 3 whole raised to 46 or will be equal to 6 raised to 46. And we know that the cycle of units rate of power of 6 is 1. That means all the units rate of 6 raised to any positive integer power will always be equal to 6 itself. Find the units rate of 2 raised to 34 multiplied by 3 raised to 45. Now we know the cycle of units digit of powers of 2 and 3 both are 4. So we can divide 34 and 45 by 4 to check the remainder. So 34 divided by 4 will give us 2 remainder and 45 divided by 4 will give us 1 remainder. That means units rate of 2 raised to 34 will be same as units rate of 2 square and units rate of 3 raised to 45 will be same as units rate of 3 raised to 1. So this will be 4 multiplied by 3 or units rate will be equal to 2 for this expression. Find units rate of 1452 raised to 48 multiplied by 25463 raised to 123 multiplied by 798 raised to 241. So whenever you have big numbers like this, you can ignore all the other digits and just focus on the units digit. So this means this question is nothing but what is the units rate of 2 raised to 48 multiplied by 3 raised to 123 multiplied by 8 raised to 241. Now we can uh, simplify this and start solving. So cyclicity of units rate of power of 2 is 4. That means we need to divide 48 by 4. We'll get a remainder of 0. That means units rate of this is same as units rate of 2 raised to 4. Cyclicity for 3 is also 4. So 123 divided by 4 will get 3 as a remainder. So units rate will be same as 3 cube. Cyclicity of 8 is also 4. So we need to divide 241 by 4. We know divisibility rule for 4 is we just need to divide the last two digits. So 41 divided by 4 will give us a remainder of 1. That means units rate will be same as 8 raised to 1. So 2 raised to 4, units rate will be 6 because it is 16. Units rate is 7 in this case and units rate is 8 in this case. 6 into 7 is 42. So 2 multiplied by 8, units rate will be 6 in this case. Find the units rate of 145 raised to 2367 multiplied by 156 raised to 10987. We have a 5 here and we have a 6 here. We know cyclicity of both 5 and 6 is 1. So that means units rate will be 5 in this case and 6 in this case. So overall units rate will be 5 multiplied by 6 or, or will be equal to 0. Find the units rate of 224 raised to 12987 multiplied by 28569 raised to 1879. Now units digit of 4 has a cycle of 2 and this is an odd power. That means units rate will be same as 4 raised to 1. Units rate of 9 also has a cycle of 2 and this is an odd power. That means units rate will be same as 9 raised to 1 and 4 into 9 is 36. So our units rate will be 6 in this case. I've also listed down the cyclicity of all the numbers from 1 to 10. What is their overall cyclicity? Do they repeat after every term, after every fourth term? And what is the exact cycle, right? So, so you can remember this so it becomes easier for you to solve the problems involving units rate of exponents. If you want to look at more detailed video about cyclicity of the numbers from 2 to 9, do check out the description of this video where I provided the links for individual numbers from 2 to 9.
Hope you found this video useful and do share your comments on the video. Thank you.